no borders. The grass is greener when there are no sides. On a border between two states, someone has written, Fuck your nationalism. We are all earthlings. And on the Mexican border, someone has ripped through a fence of reinforced chicken wire with bolt cutters and erected a hammock by suspending it between two of the fence's concrete pillars. After swinging gently back and forth from Texas to Mexico and then from Mexico back to Texas, they doze off, contemptuous of the security guards patrolling this artificial demarcation. For once upon a time, Texas was Mexico, and Texas didn't exist. When Eugene Debs was imprisoned for conscientious objection in World War I, he said on September the 11th, 1915, I have no country to fight for. My country is the earth. I am a citizen of the world. In Bethlehem, on the apartheid wall, which divides Palestine from Palestine, someone has stenciled a dotted line, punctuated by an open pair of scissors, to suggest to passers-by they cut, as indicated, and allow the wall to collapse, so they can walk back home unencumbered. Borders are undetectable from space. None of them have ever worked. The Great Wall of China didn't work, nor did Hadrian's Wall, and the Berlin Wall, designed to separate Germans from each other, lasted no time at all. Tear down this wall. We're armed because we mistrust each other. Each other. Tear down this wall. Tear down the totalitarian Tear down this wall. None of them worked. Because, as Robert Frost noted, something there is that doesn't love a wall. There's something, in other words, which dislikes the arrogance of those who say, We on this side are legal and you on that side are not. Something which dislikes being excluded by the economic snobbery, crank ideology, or patriotic pathology of those feeding their superiority complexes by building borders. Walls don't have ears, and don't listen, though they have tongues, and they say, with an insinuating brutality, that those who've been hurt by the criminal inequality of the world deserve to be hurt. And they say that those who try to correct the imbalance by their misguided adventurism shouldn't try to do so. And they say that those seeking asylum are presumed to be criminal, self-seeking desperados, unless they can prove otherwise. What is this in aid of? Is this to prevent us getting in or you lot getting out? But those keenly creating a web to snarl up and ensnare the world with steel and concrete latticework, peppered with armed border posts, bristling with sadistic snipers who pick off the hungry, a stifling man's wanderlust, smothering his song lines, his natural instinct to migrate, which man's shared with other species since the beginning of life on earth. Migration created the world. Sang John Lennon, knowing that nationalism and its hide-bound borders can kill billions every century, and yet borders still silently snake through the land mass of the earth's Eden, biting those whom they judge intruders, sometimes fatally. The mindset that builds borders stoops to shooting migrants for sport. Unappointed authorities 
are telling you who you can be friends with by their erecting borders and ruling out any chance that truth and love will end violence and overcome war through the unfettered flow of a healthy bloodstream through the global body politic. To Maya Angelou, love recognises no barriers. It jumps hurdles, leaps fences, penetrates walls to arrive at its destination, full of hope. And life can do the same. From outer space, borders don't register. But from inner space, they clog up the psyche, cheat the pilgrim soul of wanderers and troubadours and hunter-gatherers, seekers looking to share the fruits of their journeying with the rest of the tribe and to phase out fear by making friends, while borders embody the cold-hearted injunction, Thou shalt not. The gurus of the past, Buddha, Christ and Mohammed, were nomadic and unconfined, and the primal feelings of the spirit quest can be restored with a few satisfying snaps from a pair of bolt gutters. A high leverage compound action from chrome vanadium steel jaws enables people to bite back with surgical precision. This anarchist angioplasty can release the blocked arteries in the global body politic and free up the flow of people to celebrate the restlessness that has made man human. Tear down this wall. This wall. This war, this war, this war, open to this gate, open to this gate.